ready. I, to be honest, cannot be really bothered to, to learn PvE in this game. It's just, this open world pisses me off too much. And I love open worlds. It's just, this, this open world, the fact it is on rails, same sh constantly f***ing happens your actions have no f***ing reflection on the world basically besides like a few main events this is just ugly dead world not ugly in the meaning of aesthetics because aesthetically i think it is very pretty it's just that like it is mo monotonous yeah barely any actions of yours reflect on the world itself even though you are kind of fucking big deal i am not the fan that like you know formula of the souls games wasn't shaken up like more because it is basically Dark Souls in the open world, and I am not sure if that fits so well. But yeah, like, I mean, like, the most annoying thing is that everything in... This is open world game. I play Gothic for 20 years, yeah? Every time I come back to Gothic, even to the vanilla version without any mods whatsoever, the game always manages to surprise me with something. Meanwhile, in Elden Ring, everything is on rails, in the meaning that... Every single time you sit at the bonfire, that is, well, grace, the same events actually occurring. Like the neutral creatures on the on the map, like doing uh, the same shit over and over. Stuff like picking up the uh, the plants. Yeah, you basically sit at the at the bonfire, and uh, boom, like the plants respawns around you, and it's everything like it feels like there is essentially no progression in the world on its own do i die if i drop here let's let's see out of pure curiosity curiosity the first step to hell but I mean, like what i'm lacking is in this world is any sort of the randomness let's say situation that we are just Killing these guys here and out of fucking nowhere the fucking mammoth would fall nearby us. Like some sh funny shit like that on the tier of uh, of Skyrim. Freaking random adventures. Kind of scripted, but at the same time like a random events that just might occur and there is like a plenty of them. Like this game has nothing like that. Makes me feel like this, this world is like out of the cardboard basically yeah like it is literally the world out of the cardboard nothing interesting happens in it it's just the map that you that you have to deal with to traverse from one point to the another to beat yet another boss static world yeah pretty much it's so fucking annoying witcher for example yeah, it's let, let's let's make things clear yeah i absolutely do not compare these games in any way shape or form besides just like I'm, i want to to point the uh, differences in the way how the open world uh, world bank actually built um, in Witcher 3 for example you have so many ways to progress through the even like a smallest stories in the game like going for an example to Skellige at the beginning of the game instead of after like cleaning up the quest lines in uh, in Novigrad makes uh, things makes dialogues completely different and you know those are like these lovely things that um uh, that you would love to to see in the open world games uh, for example in in gothic 2 uh, you have a situation like small stupid thing where you have a guy an assassin that wants to kill you if you are going to progress through one of the quests in the certain way there is a, that dialogue where the protagonists say, okay, at least let me draw my weapon. And the assassin responds to that, sure, it won't change the outcome though. But if you don't have the weapon equipped, the protagonist says, okay, at least let me grab my weapon. And the assassin answers to it, man, you don't have the weapon. Just prepare to die. And, like, you know, these small things are fucking cool. I absolutely adore these type of things in the in the open world games. Like, you know, that uh, different outcomes, basically. It, it, you have different outcomes in the smallest things. And that's why, for me, this game is hella disappointing. Because when I heard that open world is going to happen, like, From Software is going to make the game in the open world, my expectations were that, like, it is going to be essentially a game that what you do actually, like, reflects uh, on the world. 
the world itself in the open world games usually play like very important part that story driven game which from sort uh, from soft never tried that is good point i guess Alto like a from soft is doing a lot of the in environmental storytelling yeah and uh, i guess that could be utilized somehow yeah it would be lovely if, for example this burning shit ass tree that drops your fps would reflect on the world in different way than just fucking flying shit around the screen sekiro has the story okay you have a point too like actually sekiro was story driven game and like you know i, I mean g gameplay was amazing but like it was also story driven game the narration in in sekiro just works very well